What's going on guys, we're back again with some more Easy Mail. Today we got eight questions for Easy Mail. So this is on the Wish Studio, which is basically a Filipino bus that tours around the Philippines, but he was in he lives in America now, so now they're touring America and doing all types of things there. So it's amazing to see, you know, Easy Mail getting a lot of play in the US, because it's unbelievable. And also, you know, the biggest revelation of all that, he just signed with Eminem, Dr. Dre, Shady Records, Aftermath, Interscope. So it's unbelievable to see you know, Dr. and Eminem giving Easy Mail finally his flowers. I was one of the oldest reactors to react to him, guys. Like I say in every video, I was like one of the very first. You guys can go back and check out my videos. IDK, I react to all those guys. Very, very old videos. And, you know, I got a lot of love from the Filipino people for that. So I appreciate that love so much. So yeah, let's get into these questions, guys. Let's go. Leave a comment down below. Leave some of your questions on my channel, guys. I respond back to everybody. Let's get it. I, I freaked out. Real, because like finding out that it was Eminem, you know, and then tapos parang double whammy pa na pagkabalik ko sa cellphone. Seryoso ha. And also you're gonna, Dr. Dre is gonna be there. That's fire. That's fire, guys. Come on, Dr. Dre. For that one. Dr. Dre. Alright. Hey, this is Easy Mill, and I welcome you to the Wish Studio. Go. What happened was we had just posted the uh, music video for my song Uptown, mm. and three days after that, Dr. Great Dre song. emailed us. Pero hindi naman namin inakalang totoo kasi siempre husino magakalang totoo na sa una di ba? And so we kind of shrugged it off. So what he said there, for those who don't understand the Filipino language, is that Dr. Dre emailed them, his team, and he didn't even respond because he thought it was a scam. He thought it was a lie, and you understand? Because he probably gets a ton of emails every single day. Then a month later, um, yung mga tao namin sa Virgin pa yung parang nag shrug sa amin na seryoso to. Yeah, parang. He said, I think their Virgin Studios actually told him, hey, no, actually, you know, Dr. Dre wants to talk to you. And then we got that. Tapos pagawit ng girl, ng girl parin ko sabi niya, sinabi niya na sa akin. So it was just I I freaked out, for real, because like finding out that it was Eminem, you know. And then tapos parang double whammy pa na pagkabalik ko sa cellphone. Seryoso ha. And also you're gonna Dr. Dre is gonna be there. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. So it was just crazy. Unbelievable. I would say very heavily because it was their sound and um, voices is what I tried to replicate. Sila yung ginagaya ko yung dati pa na bago ko pa sinimulan na subukan mag-music is parang pinapakinggan ko lang sila talagang araw-araw. That's fire. He's basically saying that they had a massive inspiration on him, massive impact on him. Had to now it's just also looking for their advice still because they're the moguls and the ones who have been like you know perfectly solidified within this music game especially in rap so i'm just eager to have more moments to learn from them with everything that goes on i feel like I just try to keep myself chill and go with the flow because it's already a lot to think about like you know what people here and like over there are saying so like you know I just try to keep my composure. That's fire. That's fire. Oh it's <laughs> it's crazy like you know in some light you know there's probably even more tightening because you start to see a lot more of those people who are fake too so and i love that so you're saying as soon as he blew up he started to see a lot of the fake people too come out of the woodwork like you know talking nonsense but guys he's elevated so they need to rise to him guys i mean i don't know who's talking nonsense about easy mail but they ain't on his level you know i'm talking about his close friends guys you know i'm talking about that not not anybody else in light of that like we're really tight like super tight for him.
Yeah, 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 definitely. I, I've, I was, of course, still keep, t keep trying to make more songs like that. Yeah, Pinello was one of the biggest Filipino songs of all time, guys. Where he collaborated with a ton of people. I think. What was it? Pacquiao came out to that song for one of his boxing matches or something like that. Unbelievable. Um. So what happened was I was like making beats before even finding out it was them that we were gonna meet. You know. Oh, so yeah. one of those beats was the realest beat, and I just came prepared. You know, before even going to the studio, <laughs> and then there I showed it to them. They messed with it really, really hard, and yeah. you know, Dre, Dre said that M would eat that up, and he did. Hell yeah. Like, a lot, he got a lot of hate on that song because they said he didn't rap as good as Eminem, but he already had his verses done and stuff, and he already had the kind of theme done, so... But we'll see in this new... We'll see in this new album, guys, when he collaborates with Eminem, Doc Dre. Guys, I think, you know, people say it has to live up to Get Rich or Die Trying. It might be better than 50 Cent Get Rich or Die Trying. Now, a lot of people think I'm crazy for saying that, but I think it might be better, guys. Like, he is unbelievable. He's phenomenal. Easy Mill is one of the best rappers I've ever seen in my life. So he might blow up bigger than anyone we, we know. We don't know, guys, because, you know, it's hard to tell the future, but he is so phenomenal when it comes to rap and his style that he might just blow up, guys. It's it's unbelievable. You know, this, this signing is ridiculous, guys. Whatever you're doing in life, just keep on keeping on. Don't ever that. give up. Uh, there is a light in the end of the tunnel. Mm because still to this day we are working towards that i love that so that's my four coming that. back in wish usa easy it's my um, honor thank you thank you easy he said don't give up guys if you guys have any dreams or aspirations man don't give up on that thing but you gotta work hard every day guys don't be lazy i see some people out here talking about they want to be big guys and this kind of thing and fame it ain't gonna happen guys because you ain't working hard enough start working your ass off more than you would in regular nine to five guys. I work ten times harder on this than I do ever in my whole life. So, unbelievable guys. Like it's it's crazy to see that Dr. Dre and Eminem has such an impact on his career, and then all of a sudden now he's signed with them. He's dropping an album with them. It has to compare it to other first albums of big artists, and it will. I think it will. You know, the Wish Wish USA has his back. I have Easy Mills back. I'm a big big fan, big big supporter. So I can't I can't wait guys to see the new album that he brings out. You know, he has. He had songs before that album uh, called Duality, and that album was amazing, guys. <laughs> Straight up, that, that was amazing, guys. Podium, you know, all these different songs that he has on that album, Realist as well with Eminem were phenomenal, but it's gonna be crazy to see his actual impact on the culture and everything in this new album when Dr. Dre and Eminem are helping push that album and helping create that album. So it might be out of here guys it might be like the biggest thing we've ever seen you know you don't know man a lot of people are downing easy mail all this stuff i don't know why where the doubt comes from man it it might be out of here so much love to all the loyal supporters of easy mail i'll see you guys in the comments down below man i love you all see you guys then peace